Welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, you've been watching the economy, unemployment, get back to work, inspirational, non-inspirational <laughs> videos. Thank you so much for joining my channel. My channel is taking a complete shift. I am consciously making a decision to change the content on this video, this channel from what I used to call BWE or what many people in this space calls BWE content, meaning uh, black woman empowered, stuff like that, divesting videos. And um, I have moved all of those videos, guys. I gave you all the link to the videos. I, want it, I don't have that many of those videos left. I don't have that many of those videos left. And the reason I don't have a lot of those videos left, please make sure to like, subscribe, share. We're going to continue with the economy videos, unemployment videos, videos about what's going on. And I mean, until I move out of Texas, Texas videos and politics and things like that, the presidency, the candidacy, things of that nature. So if you're new to my channel, I greatly, greatly appreciate that. If you're an old subscriber, I appreciate you sticking around or staying, or I appreciate you moving on to the other channel for when I get an opportunity to do those videos, continue to do some of those videos. I will no longer do any hard, hard hitting videos about um, black women empowerment, or um, black women moving on, unless it's gonna be like in my private groups where I personally have safety, <laughs> which is extremely important for me and my daughter, you know, in this space, in these spaces going forward. We are preparing in America worldwide for some interesting times. I'm not going to speak that it's going to be hard times, but I'll speak that it's, we're in an interesting shift right now in our economy, which will ultimately affect your life. This was something I was telling Black women, let me see, before Biden got elected. I said this man was not good. He was definitely not good for our border state that we live in here in Texas. He was just not going to be good as a good president. I'm the type of person that I used to be where I didn't believe that, hey, you know, your president can determine a lot of different things that's going on in your economy, but that can be the furthest thing from the truth. It does matter and it does make a difference who you vote for, who you show up for, and what policies they follow. So I know one of you ladies, you said something to the effect that you were mad at me because I'm not pro Kamala Harris and I'm never going to be pro Kamala Harris. For those of you that agree with me, the newcomers, those that have just joined this channel, in many cases, some of you ladies, you've been on the channel for a while. She's not good for this country, guys. She's not good for this country. She's not good for this country. This woman was endorsed by La Raza. Am I all for people having their communities and looking out for their best interests? Of course. But a lot of times people looking out for their community isn't necessarily looking out for every community. That's where we have to draw the line. So I wanted to get into some of this um, information for you guys about my channel. And this is the last time I'm going to address this on any of my channels regarding my daughter. I do not get into any type of dirty details further going forward about where she wants to go to school, what she wants to do. I did discuss it in the video yesterday. I'll put that video probably in a private group. I didn't have no makeup on, so I'm definitely gonna probably put it in the private group. The reality is, is that at the end of the day, I am standing on business. It was a process to get her to go into school because she needed her ID. When I we moved to this city, it took forever for her to even get an appointment to get her ID. I was driving her up to the office physically to get her ID because we were houseless for two and a half, three years. She couldn't get her ID. People don't understand that. Because of my car stuff, she couldn't get her license. So we opted to get her ID, guys. 
There's no mystery. I'm not throwing my daughter under the bus. I'm not not supporting my daughter. I'm not not. She literally just graduated. Let me see. She graduated ahead of time earlier this year. She was supposed to graduate June of this year. So she graduated way before then. She got her diploma in the mail before then, guys. Okay, April. She graduated in April. So she was already ahead of the game. All right. There's going to be a lot of obstacles and things that uh, uh, because of the two and a half years of being homeless, houseless or whatever, that's going to be a process to get her to the next stage. She has already started already getting into school. I am not disclosing where my daughter's going to school. Everybody is not a fan of me. So I'm not going to put her in that predicament. Okay. I don't want people all up in her business like that. I appreciate people that supported me and my daughter during that time period. We're moving forward. We're moving on. If you come on any of my channels, my backup channel in particular, that's why I'm doing the video for the most part. I have a new channel. I have given my daughter a monetized channel. She's just getting her hours so she can get more than super chats and things like that. She has availability to do memberships and things of that nature. That's what any good parent would do. If you had a business model or any type of business, you would give gift that to your kids. That's going to be something she can utilize as she grows and creates new channels and has money and revenue and money coming in, whether she gets these jobs or gets hired or complete school or doesn't complete school or complete school, but doesn't like what she's doing. Like a lot of people can't say that they can do that for their kids. You know, just automatically. It took me a long time to get that channel monetized that I gave to my daughter. And I have two more channels I'm going to get monetized besides this channel, guys. OK, so a lot of times when y'all don't see me come on here and pour out my life or whatever on my channel, y'all think that it's all this other stuff going on and it just isn't. I'm just forging ahead. I've been in this city since, when did I leave? Four, mm, almost six months. You guys don't realize I've been in this city for almost six months. It doesn't take me a year to realize that what the opportunities I'm looking for, if I was to physically go into a job, does not exist in the city. I'm in a border state. Many of you that want to vote for a Kamala, you don't live in a border state. You don't, you don't, you're not looking at the economy from that standpoint. Move to Texas, move to California, move to Florida, move to any border state. Your perspective about what you're trying to do, how you're trying to get it done, is going to change. You're looking at a completely different America. Now, I lived on the East Coast before. I've lived in different a different state before. So I can see what that would look like. And I know what that looks like. And I know there's a tremendous difference in population and, and uh, societal norms and things like that in different states. Kamala Harris does not have my vote coming this election. In fact, Kaylin already got her voter consumer, I mean, voter re registration card. She already got that in the mail. So guys, I'm moving her forward. I, I know it's sitting over there somewhere. I'm moving her forward, okay? Please refrain from putting your lips and talking about my daughter. She's doing good. She's been gifted her channel. She's gonna go to school. We've already filled out the FAFSA. We've already gotten all of that ball rolling. She already knows what her award is gonna be. And the, right now, I'm gonna make sure that I put her in a location we move to a location or be in a location where she can move forward and prosper. That's the whole thing. Me and her went through a whole lot in this past two and a half, three years. We're still going through things. It's not just a slapstick, bam, it's fixed. It's a process of things to be fixed. The number one motivator is to see progress. And I'm seeing progress, but again, many of us are in a bad state in the economy. I can tell you guys 
that my income from the Biden Harris from Trump era, from the Trump era, my income was way up here. Then when these two clowns came into office, this is how our in my income went. <sighs> if you're on my channel and you know this to be a fact and you know that your income is not nowhere near where it was during Trump era, please hit the like button and talk about it below in the comments. This channel is changing because it needs to change. I have always, ready, always been a politically inclined person. I've always been team um, conservatism since I was 15, 16 years old. My grandmother was a staunch Democrat. You know how you guys, like when you go vote, you go to a polling center in your area or whatever. My family members, we ran those types of polling centers. I worked those polling centers ever since I've been 18. Every, really ever since I was a kid, I used to go to the poll that my grandmother used to run in a, a precinct in Houston. So I know a lot about politics, guys. I'm not an uninformed black voter. I'm not an uninformed, ooh, ooh, KKK, a, a, a. That's not me. I know about how they're using identity politics and trying to check two boxes with Kamala Harris to get South Asian women and black women to vote for Kamala and try to stifle votes so that she gets elected as the president. This is not the time to play identity politics when we are in an economic crisis in this country. It's not the time to feel comfortable, black women. That's why I don't do these type of videos on this channel anymore. Because I know that unfortunately the majority of black women are still stuck. Okay, and y'all will go down with the ship and take everybody with you over emotions and over identity politics and over feeling good versus the reality. Okay, it's way too many black women struggling right now. And opening up every border on every end isn't going to help us. Okay, guys. So the economy videos and politics will permanently be on this channel but I have started slowly move, removing the celebrity videos and BWE type of videos or whatever to my other channel, okay? And I put the channel in the chat box. If that makes you not rock with me anymore, it's the hill I'm gonna die on, friend. If that makes you not wanna support my channel anymore, black women in particular, that's jumping out the woods, like, come on, go back and look at her self-interest. Kamala has interest in, and I'm going to give y'all the link right quick. I hope I kept it. Hold on. Let me find it. It's, there is a, oh, I, I know I have it. There is a website that will show you the vote smart with facts. And I'm going to go to that website. I think I can actually share it on the studio. That's right. Okay. Let's do that right quick. I'll share it with you. So let me show you ladies and gentlemen something. Okay. I don't care about y'all's opinions about what Caitlin's gonna do what we've all, me and her personally have discussed. I don't care about y'all's opinions anymore. I never really did. I knew the process that it was gonna take her to get to where she's going and I'm helping her through that process, guys. I didn't want any of my issues, my finances, or any of my problems to fall on her education. So I fixed that. Okay, guys, listen. I, I, and that's why, okay, so let me finish my point about that. Don't talk about my daughter on my channel. She has her own channel. I've linked her channel multiple times to all of my channels. You can go and support her on her channel. Okay, guys, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole anymore with you guys. So <laughs> we've already been through this. So let me see if I can share my, as we go, we are. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, look, look, let me share this with you guys right quick, because I think, 
I, I, it's like it's a, it's a catch for me to even discuss Kamala Harris. I get so angry when I think about the fact that we literally warned black women for years, years ago, not to vote for this man. And y'all showed up, ooh, 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 and went to go vote for this man. And look at how our economy is literally tanking. I mean, every this is beyond being black and a woman, right? Like, <laughs> this is bad, guys. I just, you can't even fathom how bad it's become. And one by one, I've seen people's livelihoods be whack a mold You know, I've seen it. So this is a website I'm going to give it to you guys that you can take a look look at. And one of the things I want to share, let me see if I, okay, yeah, I'm, share, I'm sharing it right here. One of the things I wanted to share about this website right here is that you can physically go back and look and see who donated to Kamala Harris and what they donated to her. Okay. And, and, and the money that, and in some cases, if it's like a miscellaneous donation, other donations, I mean like miscellaneous donations and stuff, you can't even see physically uh, who, do, who donated to her. Okay. So Microsoft gave her, oh, looks like they gave her more now. Microsoft gave her $1,155,502 towards her campaign. Let's see. Amazon gave her $1,030,000. Apple gave her $882,311. Facebook, which go look it up. Facebook has Mark Zuckerberg or whatever said that this particular uh, can these particular candidates, Biden and Harris, tried to pay him off to suppress voter information or to suppress people's opinions about voting for Trump on his platform, Meta, which is Facebook. That's Facebook. Eight hundred and fifty one thousand eight hundred and sixty five dollars. I don't think his donation has gone up. OK, Alphabet Incorporated. I've looked that up the other day, but I have forgotten. I'm not going to take the time out to look it up right now. So she's also been endorsed by La Raza in California when she was in California. Okay. You have to know what you're voting for and why you're voting for the person. You have to know what is their agenda to address this in your community, that in your community, this with... For, even from a worldwide standpoint, she's not qualified to handle all of these different affairs that we've got to deal with from a worldwide standpoint. Okay. And a lot of South Asian people are not, are not comfortable with her handling of Israel and Hamas and all that right now. I don't want to go too down too far down that rabbit hole guys. Okay. So let me give you all this website where you can go and get this information for yourself. Because I think last time I did a video like this, I don't remember if I put in all of the facts and all of the information. So then you come back over here, as y'all can see, I'm sharing the screen. And you can go back and look at um, her positions on different things. I remember I was looking at one and I was trying to remember. She's not covering a lot of key issues that people want to talk about. Okay, track this policy. Oh, votes, things that she voted for. You can come here, and I mean, just skip around and jump around about this. Let me see if there was any other points I wanted to make before I went into this. So I have four YouTube channels that are in the process of being monetized. I have this main channel, my number one original channel, which I know it can be off-putting for people. I've been with you ever since you changed all your names. I changed my names for safety purposes. People were literally, these guys were literally trying to find out where I lived. Y'all were not reading these emails. Every time I would post videos, these guys would be like, I know where you're at. I know where you're at. That's why. Being divested and being a BWE divesting type of person, it's dangerous. If you say, hey, this is how black women need, tell them black women to leave these guys before we get back on topic with this. 
her stands on different things is dangerous. <laughs> it's just it's dangerous. These women are bankrolling these men's lifestyles. So to say, hey, black women, divest, live your best life. Don't look over your shoulder. Don't lend out your 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 body parts, your home. Your, it's dangerous work. And if you're in a vulnerable position financially, who in the heck is going to put themselves in a more vulnerable position uh, physically when you got to be in different environments and seeing different things going on? Who's going to do that? What what smart woman is going to move like that, move and shake like that? That's why I've been divesting in silence. That's part of the title of this video. OK, so but back to Kamala and her horrible, horrible stands and positions. So they use I could have sworn they had another area where we could look at where it shows um, showed us the things that the things that she voted for. Let me see if this is the tab. So I've divested in silence. That's why. OK, I mean, come on. Let me see this right quick. Yeah, I, that's why. All right. So let's see what we got going on here, guys. Let's see what we got going on here. Sorry about that. I know for a fact, okay, maybe I've got to find speeches, funding. Have they removed how she voted on certain certain things? Oh my God, that's crazy. Her positions, track, okay, let me, I may, maybe I didn't click, click this. So track this politician, let's click on that right quick. And then I'm going to refresh it right quick. You have to know the facts. Y'all see my little thing in the background there? It's cute, my little thing, my little basket. Okay, let me see here. All right, so track the, oh, come on, where is it? I know for a fact that it was on here, guys. Hmm. I don't know why it's not. I'm clicking on it, but nothing's happening. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing for a second then and come back on here. I mean, let, track this position. Oh, here it is. Education, politics. I don't know what this is right here, guys. I, it's, I'm, I should. Let me see. Oh, her remark. Wait a minute. Okay, here it is. The key issues. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to give y'all this one if y'all want to um, follow along as well and when you uh, get off the video or during the video, however you want to do it. So let's come to here, right here. I understand that some women are running on a stance of her reproductive rights. I don't personally care about her stance on... Re I feel like reproductive rights in America, a woman's reproductive rights or her personal business. I don't feel like politics should be funding people's personal choices when it regards that. Listen, you can disagree with me. I don't feel like we should be bankrolling people's personal choices when they making choices in bed, the bedroom or whatever they're going to do with their life. I don't feel like we should be paying for that. I don't, you didn't, we're denying women their whatever rights is. I don't feel like that is something we should be paying for. I don't feel like we should be, I think that should be handled by private health insurance. And I, this is coming from someone who is an insurance broker. Someone who actually helps you with life insurance, health insurance, et cetera. I don't feel like we should be paying for that. Y'all can be mad at me if you live in your whatever your wayward lifestyle is or whatever you want to do with yourself. That's your business. But why should I, as a taxpayer, pay for choices you make in your bedroom with whatever you want to do with your life with whoever? Why? 
I think that money can be allocated towards other things that people need that are more dire beyond their personal life choices and things like that. I noticed that a lot of black women and other women and women in, in general are very, uh, uh, they, they're very entitled to certain types of funding when it comes to their personal life. That is your personal life. Now, when it comes to being violated or the life of a child or something like that, then there can be exceptions made. I don't think that women should be rolling up into clinics every other week and getting free services because they made certain choices about their life and body and whatever the case is. I just I just don't I just don't agree with that, guys. You can be mad at me, you can unsubscribe, you can get whatever. I have personally never utilized those types of services, okay? For free. And I've never used those, utilized a lot of those types of services. So there may be a disconnect for me. For me, when I was in a desperate need, what it, to me, if you're in a desperate situation and you're in a desperate need, maybe relationships is not a, a purpose, a focus for you. I'm talking about grown women willingly trying to utilize uh, a, a reproductive services. And if you're trying to get a, have a child or you're going through some sort of medical thing and you're married, that should be something that you and your spouse handle. Why should we as taxpayers pay for your lifestyle? Okay, why should we bankroll that lifestyle? Why? But again, I try not to get too far off into that rabbit hole because I feel like if you, whatever choices you're making in your personal life regarding your body and your reproductivity is your business. You make it my business when you tell me that you have a right to do certain things, certain procedures, and get certain amount of money for a certain birth control and things like that that don't have nothing to do with me. Okay? We have spent millions and billions of dollars subjugating people's choices in this country. And that can be money that's allocated towards our veterans, money that's allocated towards other resources or whatever, my opinion. I mean, and I'm gonna leave it at that. So when it comes to border security and things like that, Kamala is not on your side, ladies and gentlemen. She's not. I may have to make this another um, part two Okay, because I had already made this point in a previous video about Kamala Harris. This is the if you are not talking about this to me, you're not talking if you're not talking about her stance on immigration and things like that, and you live in a border state, it's going to directly affect you. Period. You know, my opinion. So that's the link for that, guys. I'm gonna give it to you in the comments below. Also, leave your comments below. Do not bring my daughter up on no more videos. You want to support her, you can follow to my channel. You can see that she has a channel, Marie Lycor. You can follow her journey over there. She don't do videos like mine. She didn't really, really like to be on the camera that much other than her makeup videos. And that's that. Okay, guys. Hey, if you didn't get a chance to watch this video, please hit the replay. I'm going to give y'all the links to my other channel. I may come back on here with more politic videos as I bring down some of the points and take a look at Kamala's voting history. Okay. While she's in California, no public statements found. They just removed it, guys. They've been removing a lot of things. Let me see if I can find something else. Let me see if it'll it'll come up. Okay, we're going to have to go into this. Look at this. Look at all this stuff that they just recently removed. Because I know for a fact that I just showed y'all this website. Uh-oh. Look at that. I'll, I'll apply it just to make sure I'm doing the correct thing. Leave y'all's comments below. That's all I have to say about all of this. <laughs> okay, that's the website if y'all want to go see her stands on different things and who's actually bankrolling Kamala, which is a lot of ABC corporations. I don't see the NAACP on there from different chapters and stuff. 
because she doesn't have an agenda for black people. She made it clear she don't have no agenda for you. Me personally, I don't care about that, but I do care about other things, right? Thank you. you I do care about other things. So I will get into that later in another video. Leave y'all's comments below. Tell me what you think. Thank y'all for watching. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. What are your thoughts?